So when you start out and you're out there looking for a bull, <coughs> do you cow call or do you bugle? Both. Both. Yeah. Um, when you use a cow call, usually that's not a threatening call to a bull. So if I can get one to answer to a cow call, and it's a, it's a mind game that you're playing. If I can get a cow or a bull to answer using a cow call, and if he's aggressive and is really liking what he hears, then that's what I'll stay with. Yeah. But then if not, uh, I'm finding many times you can get them going with the cow call and they'll answer you. But you, if it's the right time of year, which for an archery hunter, it's gonna be at least the first couple, three weeks of archery season. Uh, sometimes it is that bugle that is challenging, it's aggressive, it's uh, obnoxious, it's in his face, he don't want to hear it, it's a 13 year old, it won't be quiet when you're trying to have a conversation with somebody, it's that kind of an attitude. So if I do use a bugle, it's going to be a high pitch, not threatening, but real aggravating, something like this. This is uh, called the Magda, and it's actually a diaphragm read in here. <laughs> And I don't care how bad it rattles or how the float, if it's not precise, when you get a bull really screaming, he is not correct in all his tones. Right. He's more, he's more mad. They all sound different. And uh, I'll, I'll do that. Let me see, I've got, let me my diaphragms here. Hold that. And it's real important, it is real important not to intimidate whatever you're calling to. Because if you intimidate it, then it will not come to you. Or if it does, it will be really cautious about trying to uh, come to your position. Because as we learn how to call elk, and we get more and more throaty and more growly and stuff like that, and I'll demonstrate that for you here in a second. When you learn how to call, the better you learn how to call, the fewer elk you will call in if you're not careful because you intimidate them. So. This, this, now listen to the sound again so we can compare the two. And I personally like that break in that call. Yeah. It just means this, this, this bull is putting so much intensity in that call. It's so rattly, aggravating, he can't even talk straight. <laughs> <laughs> Love that dog. So if, now if you take a diaphragm, do the same thing. So that's almost getting to the point you could be intimidated. But if you growl into it, <laughs> now we're getting to the point it could be intimidated. Right. So I want that bull that I'm calling to, and intimidation is good on a herd bull, it's just not on good on all the satellite bulls. Right. But that herd bull, so if you're trying to get close to him, you're trying to make a difference in his world, then you get you start you can add a little of that to it. And if he bites on, if he really likes it and he's aggressive back to you, the party's on. Yeah. Uh, whatever he gives me, I'm gonna give it back right in his face. Instantly. Instantly. And sometimes while he's while he's calling, I'm on top of him calling. Yeah. So that seems to really aggravate him. And that's just that's just how you build the intensity in that conversation. Yeah. 